As with 2.5D features, FeatureCam 2016 also provides fine-tuned control for the non-cutting moves when using 3D vortex toolpaths. Control has been added to allow the increase of the feed rate on the non-cutting moves, with additional options to retract and lift using either an automatic value or user divine threshold. These can be set individually or combined to achieve an optimum toolpath with the benefit of a reduced cut time. So in the case of this part, what we have is we have a cavity mould that we're looking to machine using a 3D vortex toolpath. In this case you can see I've got five features already pre-created. Each one of these features addresses a different option for our non-cutting moves. I'm just going to open the first one, just have a look at the properties of this. In the Z level, first thing I want to highlight is we're using a vortex toolpath. Next to this you can see the new button which allows us to enter and have a look at the non-cutting move options. Opening this we get a new dialog box and we can see we've got two distinct areas. We've got options for retracting on non-cutting moves and options for increasing the feed rate on non-cutting moves. In this case the default option is set to never. This means that as it goes through a trochoidal move on the toolpath as it moves away from the material into the non-cutting segment, uh, in this case we just get a standard trochoid. However, I can change what happens in this case. So instead of keeping it on never, I could switch it to automatic. So what this does is it uses an automatically calculated threshold value to change from the trochoidal motion on the non-cutting areas into a retract move where it thinks it's necessary. I can choose a finer control by choosing a longer than setting. In this case I can enter my own parameter. I can set that to say 40 millimeters. And what this will do is it will introduce uh, retract moves on any segments that are greater than 40 millimeters. I also have the option to increase the feed rate for non-cutting moves. We turn this on by checking the box and then we enter the desired non-cutting feed rate. In this case I can set, say I want to cut at 6,000 millimeters per minute and that will increase the feed rate of any non-cutting moves and then if I was using the longer than threshold um, this of course would not include those retract moves. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to cancel that, just close that form off and I'm just going to display the, uh, the, the toolpath for each one of these, uh, each one of these features. So of the three first ones that we've got there that deal with the retract moves, we have never lift, so that is the default toolpath behavior. We have automatic lift, and then we have lift longer than 40. Let's have a look at a single slice for each one of these toolpaths to verify what's happening. I'm just going to pick the first slice, and just rotate the view just to refresh. And here we can see the default toolpath. So in this case, we can see as the tool engages material and pulls away, we're still staying in that plane and there's very few retracts on the part. Note the trochoidal shape or the curved shape at the ends of these passes here. If I switch to that same le Z level position on the second toolpath, you can see straight away we get a number of retracts happening here as it's chosen an automatic threshold value based on the length of these segments. The third one, again if I choose that same minus 13, in this case I've got more retracts because I've chosen a smaller value than what the automatic value that was chosen before. This gives me total control uh, to decide where I want it to retract in terms of the segment length. The last two toolpaths uh, deal with an increase in feed rate. So note the size of the trochoids on these toolpaths. If I switch to this one and again look at that same slice, you see we get larger trochoids, and this is because we are increasing the feed rate uh, as we move away from that component. The final toolpath in this case is a combination of the two. So this is using that same uh, threshold value, only in this case it's 100 millimeters, and we're also increasing the feed rate for those back trochoid areas where we're not lifting off the component. So each one of the toolpaths looks dramatically different. 
Likewise, if I go to the details, we can see we get variations in the total cut time for each of the toolpaths as well. So without lifting, that first toolpath was 24 minutes and 45 seconds. By switching the automatic lift on, we get 24.26. And with my user-defined threshold, I get a very similar cut time to the automatic setting. If we go to the uh, increase feed rate section, you can see here I get 23 minutes and 51 se uh, 58 seconds for the uh, default increase in feed rate without any lifts. And if I introduce my lifts, in this case, longer than 100 millimeters, again I got a comparable value to that previous toolpath. Based on the fraction of the seconds, I can say that this is my most optimum toolpath that I'd like to run on the machine. 